So I've just noticed that that's me done just over 500 miles on this YZFR 125 since I got it I uh, just thought I'd tell you what my initial reactions, thoughts to it are Clumsy springs to mind Just in comparison to the MT125 uh, It's just a bit easier to manoeuvre whether you've got an R1 or an MT-10 uh, I imagine it's the exact same the One's more manoeuvrable when slowly moving, parking, doing turns etc uh, The other one is... Shall we say clumsy? <laughs> that's, that's all I can say about it uh, Whereas you're doing a U-turn You do a U-turn on this bit of road, no bother on the 125 and the MT, sorry, 125 if you try it on this, you'll be doing at least a three-pointer. Uh, sometimes you think, oh, I'll, I'll do it in a three-pointer. Five-pointer. So it's... But that's not the end of the world, obviously. Fun factor. I would honestly say this is just a little bit more fun. Uh, the MT-125 is great fun. But this seems to... It just seems to cut through the air a lot smoother. Uh, Feels faster, slight different seating position obviously yeah, not, not too different to be fair, it's not too... Uh, you're not too hunched over I feel it in my neck actually A couple of times I've been out for like 4 hours at a time And I feel my neck a bit stiff by the end of it Now let's try and pull a UA Need an airfield <laughs> <laughs> you need an airfield to pull a U-turn on this thing Oh, that was good Getting better at them I've not seen that in a while But I'm starving <laughs> So can this bike keep up with traffic on a dual carriageway? Yeah, all day long It's an all-rounder It's great for the city It's great for on the dual carriageways if you've got them around where near where you live Same with city I suppose <laughs> uh, Country roads though so. They're all great for these bikes Preferably the country roads in my opinion, but that's what I like Bit of scenery around you Although surrounded by scenery here still <laughs> How do they handle 
both of my Yamahas handle awesome. Uh, really impressed with both of them. This is just a wee bit more sporty, shall we say. But still 15 horsepower. But lots of fun. They can still batter along at 60, 70 mile an hour all day long. Uh, I've seen 87 on both clocks, <laughs> but there was big down hills involved. As for going up big hills, uh, they can struggle with like ridiculously steep hills, the same way that small engine uh, cars, you need to drop a gear. Feeling it a wee bit windy now. I know I'm doing 70, but there's a little bit of breeze blowing. Fill bill. Nah, I need a tailwind for this. Even if it's showing 83, the speed was 3 miles per hour out, so... God, I never expected to be able to do that this time on a Saturday. I better add in that it's the end of August just now. For legal reasons. I will by the time this gets published. If it does get published. <laughs> Which is best. 
that one. So no, this, this still makes me smile more than the NT does, I must admit. It's a great little bike. I would highly recommend this to anybody that's wanting one. Uh, but the MT is... It's, it's definitely more beginner friendly. Just down to the seating position and the wider handlebars that aren't clip-on bars. Because uh, you just don't have much. And my high beam there. You just don't have enough turn on the steering on these. But I'm assuming every sports bike will be the same, really. Well, it's very blustery today. I'm getting blown about now and again, but not too bad. Knock on wood. But the sun is still shining. This might be my last ride on the R125 